Rivalries are one thing, but it's another when two characters swear their eternal hatred for each other. I should have killed you years ago. Chris. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 mortal enemies in video games. Show me what you've got, Snake! For good old-fashioned rivalries in video games, the kind where nobody's trying to kill each other, check out our upcoming list of the top 10 video game rivalries. I'm sure you have time for one more game, right? As usual, we're covering one entry per franchise. Hmm, I like that idea. Number 10, CJ versus Officer Tenpenny. Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Let me air the fucker out. No, 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 officer. For once, let's let the kid do something good with his useless life. In the corrupt city of Los Santos, there is no shortage of unsavory characters, and some of them wear a badge. Using his influence and power, Tenpenny exploits CJ and the Grove Street gang into doing his dirty work. Intimidate those who intimidate others, Carl. It's my job. At first, CJ abides in order to protect the well-being of his gang as well as his city. But by the story's conclusion, Tenpenny and CJ end up on a collision course of which there can be only one survivor. See you around, officer. Number 9, Shell vs. GLaDOS, Portal Series. Before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless, that was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. Ever since Chell's awakening in the Aperture Science facility, she has been the pawn of the perversive AI GLaDOS. Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. She wakes up with no memory, but is frequently told by the machine that she was abandoned at birth. Initially leading Chell to believe that she's part of a test, GLaDOS puts her through hellish tasks in attempts to kill her. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh wait, that's you in five seconds. Much to GLaDOS's dismay, Chell makes it her duty not only to escape, but to dismantle and destroy the corrupt AI. Something she'll hold against her come time for the sequel. I hate you so much. Number 8, Jimmy Hopkins vs. Gary, Bully. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're gonna need friends. Making friends at a new school is tough, Especially when your first perceived friend is a sociopathic sadist whose sole mission is to rule the academy and make your life a living hell. I've heard your world, moron, and don't you forget it! You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins! Despite being admittedly mentally unstable, Gary fools himself into believing Jimmy is plotting against him and, in response, formulates an elaborate plan to turn the whole school against him. Before Gary does any irreversible damage to the school, they face off in a final rooftop battle. Moral of the story, never go off your meds. Smith! I heard the whole thing! You're expelled! Number six, Chris Redfield versus Wesker, Resident Evil series. Your plans are finished, Wesker. There's no way out this time. Don't you two ever tire of failing in your mission? Although they once worked together, it was soon discovered that Wesker's personal agenda involved infecting the world with a mutation virus and ruling over it as a god. I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. Once Chris found out that Wesker is actually a member of the sinister Umbrella Corporation, he sets out to stop him, which ultimately proves difficult ever since he imbued himself with superhuman powers. Going so far as to turn his old partner Jill against him, Wesker pops up at the most inopportune times in order to ruin Chris's day again and again. <laughs> well then, I'll just have to kill you quickly. Number 6, Sonic vs. Dr. Eggman, a.k.a. Dr. Robotnik, Sonic the Hedgehog series. Dr. Robotnik! Nobody calls me that anymore. This evil genius has constantly been on the heels of the spiky blue speedster for years and still hasn't quite found a way to catch up with him. Eggman's plans for world domination have never come to fruition thanks to Sonic's intervention. Time to scramble some Eggman, Super Sonic style! And despite the hedgehog's somewhat arrogant nature, the doctor's high IQ can't put together a robot capable of stopping him. And trust us, he's definitely tried. This robot is special! He's powered by the energy from your little friends! He is invincible! They've established themselves as their greatest adversaries, and while Sonic is always up for a challenge, Eggman has never been able to take losing to the hedgehog very well. Destroy me? You and what mustache? Number five. Link vs. Ganondorf, The Legend of Zelda series. 
These two are the representations of good and evil within their franchise, and their history has proved that the two cannot coexist. Princess Zelda frequently plays a role in the evil warlock's goal of taking over the Kingdom of Hyrule, but the silent protagonist has been there time and time again to rescue her at every turn, making Link Ganondorf's greatest enemy. Despite his hatred for the hero, he also holds him in high regard, as Link is the only one he's ever deemed worthy for a one-on-one -on -one duel. <laughs> Number 4, Cloud vs. Sephiroth, Final Fantasy VII. I understand that you've been looking for me. Perhaps the most iconic rivalry within this role-playing franchise is also one with possibly the richest backstory. The two were once believed to be best friends, but this was before Sephiroth killed Cloud's actual best friend, burned down his village, and threatened to destroy the world. Yeah, I know, the whole thing escalates pretty quickly. Sephiroth has grown a distinct hatred for everything upon discovering what he really was, and Cloud has sworn to stop the convoluted menace at any cost. Tell me what you cherish most. Give me the pleasure of taking it away. Number 3. Solid Snake vs. Liquid Snake Metal Gear Solid series A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Sibling rivalry at its best. Or perhaps clone rivalry would be more appropriate. Either way, these two test subjects came from the same person. Big Boss, the greatest soldier to have ever lived. So it's true. You and I are... Seeing as they are both born from the best, Liquid has a never-ending vendetta to indefinitely determine who is actually the best between them. Liquid's rivalry with Solid Snake has even transcended death after his arm was infused with Revolver Ocelot, allowing him to take control of his body whenever Snake is around. You've served your purpose. You may die now. Number 2. Mario vs. Bowser, Mario Brothers series. You can't talk about video game adversaries without bringing up these iconic two. Bowser and his Koopa army have never really stood a chance against the heroic plumber. After countless years of kidnapping Princess Peach to assume control over the Mushroom Kingdom, or uh, something, Mario demonstrates his tenacity in consistently rescuing her. <laughs> it's safe to say that at this point, their battles are less about personal gain and more about proving who can best who. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Hey, Shorty! Maybe I can help. What? You again? Number one, Sub-Zero versus Scorpion. Mortal Kombat series. The rivalry between these two ninja combatants is as deep-rooted as it gets. Scorpion had his whole village and clan slain by Sub-Zero and his clan. After being brought back to life from the Nether Realm with supernatural powers, Scorpion takes his revenge on Sub-Zero and kills him in the Mortal Kombat tournament. I have avenged my family and clan. This subsequently allows Sub-Zero's brother to assume his late brother's mantle and seek revenge on Scorpion. With both not resting until either one is sworn to damnation, these mortal enemies take the top spot for overall brutality. I will have my revenge, but I will not kill Sub-Zero. Will not. Or cannot. Do you agree with our list? You always do! Which other video game characters have sworn their hate for each other? For more awesome top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Sort this out, Carl, so Officer Tenpenny can sleep easy at night.